G'day folks, Troy Dean here and welcome to another episode of the WP Elevation Podcast, the show where we help you start and grow your very own digital marketing agency coming to you from studio headquarters in Melbourne, the most livable city in the world up until recently when we were knocked off our perch by Vienna in Austria, believe it or not. So there you go, fun fact for you. We're in a slightly new studio configuration today, so... Uh, we hope this works. We hope it sounds like our previous podcasts of sound. We hope the quality is up to scratch. And my special guest this week comes to us all the way from India, Akshat Chaudhary. Now, please tell me I've pronounced your name correctly there. Akshat, is that correct? Uh, yeah, that's correct. Hi, Troy. Very good. Thank uh, you. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you. Thanks for joining the program. And uh, you are from Blog Vault. Uh, so I've done a little bit of research about you guys, but not too much because I want to discover the magic behind Blog Vault at the same time as my audience does. But from what I understand, you guys are a cloud based uh, backup solution, restoration solution. You also have uh, one click staging. There, there's lots of competition in this space. So I want to find out what makes Blog Vault different uh, to the rest of the solutions. But before we get there, I'm really interested in how you came to be working in this space. What, what is your background and how did you get into the WordPress cloud based backup space? Okay, yeah. So uh, I consider myself a WordPress outsider even today after having been doing this for so many years and actually living and breathing WordPress every day. Even then I consider myself a WordPress outsider. And the reason being, while we build all these products, personally, I really use WordPress myself <laughs> because I'm not a blogger. I can barely, like my team cannot have me touch my website. <laughs> so that, that just sets me, that just sets you up like, uh, 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 sets me up for where, what my background is. I'm an engineer. I was working with this startup and act, and uh, that startup got acquired and I was working with this large company uh, uh, in Bangalore and uh, doing completely things which are completely unrelated to WordPress. We are building uh, high-end networking equipment. And uh, I was work, always dabbling in side projects. At that time, I came across this situation where the founder of Stack Overflow if, I don't know if you know. If oh, yes. Everyone is aware. Yeah, I know Stack, so Stack Overflow, Overflow well, yeah. I, I think almost anyone who deals with tech knows of Stack Overflow. The founder of Stack Overflow, Jeff Atwood, he ran a very, very popular blog. And I think he still does. And that blog crashed. So that cool. server crashed. And I was like, if the person behind Stack Overflow cannot keep good backups, <laughs> there's a possible need for this. And that's where Blog World got started. We thought it was a two-week project. You know how uh, <laughs> engineers think. It's been years like seven eight years and we are still working on it and making it bet better so wow how long how long have you guys been did you guys you just say you've been around for seven or eight years is that, is that uh, we've been i've been doing this full time for seven years now so before that for a year it was part time so wow um you, you guys have kind of flown under the radar a little bit because blog vault has only really come across my desk recently uh just before you guys actually booked in for the podcast actually i became aware of you guys how what's been the growth strategy how have you guys grown blog vault yeah so no, so yeah we've not done a great job as as you mentioned of growing blog vault but we have been i think we have done fairly okay we are very very focused on the problem of uh, solving backups and now security and we can talk about the, that part later mm. But uh, yeah, so we are so focused on actually doing the ba uh, uh, the backups and restores and all of it right. That's what has been our focus. So uh, actually, that's let going back one step, right? I said it was a two-week project, mm -hmm. and which is what a backup like WordPress backup. It's it's a website. How how, how difficult can it be? That's what it <laughs> appears like, right? But once you get into it, you realize that websites are hosted on some of the worst hosts out there yeah. and sometimes even on good hosts and backing them up and making sure that everything is perfectly backed up and restored is a very very difficult mm. job so mm. you really need to be on top of it you need to be maniacal about finding every error and fixing it and that's what we have been doing the other uh, so that's actually what it really makes blog world what it is because it's a crowded space and but if you need your if your website is super important to you, then you want backups which work every time, and that's what we are about. So I do want to talk a little bit more about the the kind of technical features of Blog Vault uh, a little bit later on in the show. But but how? I mean, you've done pretty well. You've been doing it for seven years. You've got I checked you out on LinkedIn. You've got you know a team of staff. You've you've got 
your tens of thousands of, of customers using Blog Vault. How have you just grown organically through word of mouth and referrals? Oh yes, so that's been actually, and it's uh, we're not you know it's in one way it's a good thing that we have been uh, growing word of mouth and referrals, but it's not something to be proud of because you can be growing because if you have a great product you should be growing much faster through better marketing and uh, uh, yeah uh, having uh, yeah you want to make a bigger impact so so while we are happy about our customers really referring us and that's actually still continues to be a big big. Uh, uh, source of tra customers for us, uh, but we should be doing more marketing. And but it sounds like you've been focused on actually building the product and and not doing not not putting so much effort into the marketing. And so now are you kind of switching your focus a little bit to be doing more marketing now that the product you've proven that the product is 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 you know is right and is working. Well, yeah. So uh, we are so now we are building out a marketing team for the longest time. I was the one in, in charge of marketing, and you can imagine how bad it must have really been. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, we we have Pritesh and a, a bunch of people now doing uh, doing a, a bit of marketing. I would still say that we are still a very product focused company because that's the way we think about and look at it. So we'll try and find difficult problems to solve, and try and solve them as easily as possible. So that's one of the again mantras for us, mm. where people take. You know, there's so much complexity involved in some of these things, and we just take it for granted. Mm. That oh yeah, it's okay, that's fine, it's perfectly okay to. So let's look at and I, without dissing any of the products, but just let's take on a, a very popular or any most of the WordPress backup solutions, right? Mm -hmm. Where you're like, okay, yes, you set it up, and then you connect it to S3 account, and it, your backups are great. And but then you realize, and when you sit with somebody who's never used like. S3 or mm. like it's very very overwhelming mm. to be like okay how do you set up an Amazon S3 account no it's non trivial to do things like that that's right or to do restores or to some so some of those things we are very and most people are not uh yeah 95 99% of wordpress users they don't want, they don't understand any of it and they, they don't like, and they don't want to understand they don't have the mental bandwidth all the time to to understand that they just want to get on with running their business and focusing on what they do best they don't want to get into that i mean i just literally last week i had to go and add a new user to one of my s3 buckets with permissions and i know what i'm doing and it was a pain in the ass and a waste of my time i was like why am i still doing this in the year 2019 why can't i just click a button and this automatically happens for me uh and so i can imagine if you're someone who's monetizing your blog through you know whatever your hobby or your passion is navigating your way through this kind of stuff is is just a time suck really and yeah that's 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 the reality of it and even people who call who are wordpress developers and agencies they don't want to deal with this no that's you know, right. they don't want to be managing s3 account or having 50 of their clients share all the backups in one s3 account mm. or having <laughs> that key so there are a lot of these implications and doing those things which no one wants to deal with and should not be dealing with yeah. And which is what all of our products are about. So our backup product as well as our security product is about that simplicity. And it takes a lot of effort to get that right. So the obvious question is, that I can hear my listeners asking this question now, so I'm going to ask it for them. The obvious question is, if I use a good host, and I'm not going to name any hosts here because we're not sponsored by any hosts. If any of the hosts are listening and you would like me to name you, then you should get in touch and we can talk about sponsorship. But at the moment, we're not. Uh, but if you're using one of, if you're using a good host... They will offer you, you know, daily backups and restore points of your website, and they will offer you a one-click staging environment. The question needs to be asked, you know, if like why would I need something like Blog Vault if I'm using a reputable host that specialises in managed WordPress hosting? No, that's actually a fantastic question, and we are we use managed WordPress hosting ourselves, and mm -hmm. we think they are great for for hosting WordPress websites, mm. but. Uh, uh, one of the things we, we fundamentally believe in is you have to separate church from state. So you, if your backups are in the same place as your host, then you've got all your eggs in one basket. And so mm. many things go wrong. You'll be like, no, no. Mm. So managed WordPress hosting will do backups well. Mm. But, uh, you know, things do go wrong. Uh, people forget to renew their hosting account, their email, whatever is associated. And those things happen all the time. You'll mm. be surprised how often that happens. <laughs> uh, I, I know. 
uh, you know, hosting data centers go down. So there, there was a hurricane in New York about three or four years ago, five years ago, and the entire day, there was no power in any of the data centers for three days, and there was no hosting. So you could not, if your site was important to you, hmm. uh, you wanted to restore, you wanted to move out from that hosting provider, hmm. right? And you. These things happen, and that was the that one day was at that point of time the maximum number of restores we have done, because people were like, "I have got Blog Vault, I'll move them out, move out my website from that existing host." They had nothing wrong. It, it, the hosting also cannot do very much about it, but it was just the nature of it. Mm. Uh, coming to backups, also, the, uh, all backups are not the same. So, if you go to your hosting panel, do you know the back which backup to restore from? No. Because they're like, there's a list of backups. They don't give you any information. But if you go, go to the Blog Vault history page, that's what we call it. If you look at the history, it will show you what has changed between different backups. And that tells you the backup to restore from. And that's, I think that's one of the most powerful features that we have when, when people discover it. They're like, wow, this is the right way of, uh, of restoring my site. Because when you're restoring it, you're already in this really, really stressful situation. It's never a pleasant situation that you're like, oh, yes, now today I'm going That's to restore right. my site. <laughs> so, but it's a stressful yeah. situation where something has definitely gone wrong. And with, and I can tell you with certainty that you almost never know when, what really went wrong and when things went wrong. And, and, and we give you this detail. And, and, at the, and at that moment in time, you don't care what went wrong. You just want to get your website back up online. And then once it's back up online, then you can start to dig in to what went wrong so that you can mitigate it and make sure it doesn't happen again. Absolutely. And so, but even then, you, you don't want to play this Russian roulette of which version do I restore from. Mm. So we'll give you that information. And then with a click of a button, you can create a test restore on our servers. So you are you can test the backups. You can see what is if that is perfect, and then restore it on your site. Because you, again, restoring it on your site, things there are implications of it. Mm. Like, did you publish a new post since the last backup, mm. or since the backup you're restoring? Because and all of these things, when we use it on our own website, we have gone through that same exercise. So we know that that pain exists. That hey, I'm I need to do a restore. Will I lose the last post that I created? Hey, I recorded this podcast. But I need to restore be, before the to a point earlier than that. Will will did I publish it before or after? What do I need to do since the so all of that visibility it makes your job much easier. And especially if you are an agency managing hundred sites, it becomes that visibility is what uh, really gives you that peace of mind along with yeah knowing that your backups are safe. Tell me about the one-click staging uh, feature that you guys have got because that's something that I think is quite, if I'm not mistaken, is quite unique to a backup solution. It's not something that I would have expected to seen, to have seen in a backup solution. That kind of took me by surprise. So tell me, how did that feature come about? Because I'm sure there's a, a laundry list of features that you guys want to include in the product based on feedback from your customers. Why did that feature make it and how does it work in, in context as a backup solution? Okay, so uh, one-click staging. So uh, stepping back to the history page, when I told you that you can test restore, test your restore, that's where the, that's actually the origin of the uh, staging environment. Hmm. So we realized that people were going back there, but while they were using it to test the restore, a lot of them were using creating a, and testing a restore is nothing but like creating a staging environment. Hmm. So you click on a button and you want to test it easily to see if the website if that's the right backup. That was our original intention, but people were using it as a staging environment because we were creating this test restore on our servers mm -hmm. where you could do everything and you got SFTP access and uh, it mm -hmm. had uh, SSL protection and all of it. So people were using it as a staging environment and they, that's when we, and merging back from there. So that's when we realized that, okay, maybe there's a need to make people ha require better staging environments. And then when you start digging into it, you realize how to do staging well. And which is what again distinguishes us from a staging environment from a web host, for example. So we will do a lot of things. It will come with SSL protection. We'll understand what plugins typically break staging environments. So you know, you will have a caching plugin which will have a CDN enable and that will break a staging environment. Mm. We'll automatically disable those. We'll password protect your staging environment. We'll make, we'll make, we'll have the, we have this ability to selectively merge from a staging environment, which is not available on web hosts. When you're merging from a staging environment, we show the difference between the live site and the staging site. So when we when we take up a problem, we go deep into it, 
and you'll be like, okay, when do I need it? When you need it, it becomes super powerful. Mm. Talk to me about the merging, because that was my next question. When you're merging from staging to live, is it just plugins and files, or is it database merging as well? So, you know, this is something which we don't talk about publicly. We have a database merging solution hmm. uh, in place. Unfortunately, the reason we don't talk about it is because we still haven't figured out the right UX around it. Mm -hmm. Because I think the user experience, it, we have showed it to people and we can see people struggling with it. Mm. So while the technology works in the back end, I think the UX is not, the simplicity of the UX is not there. And because of which we have just put it on the back burner. It works and we enable it for certain customers, mm -hmm. but we just don't uh, publicly talk about it simply because we do, haven't figured out the real right UX for it. It's, it's probably, and it's and it may not be as a backup solution, which Blog Vault you know, started out as it might not be your core business, but it's probably one of the biggest problems to solve in the web development space going from staging to production and merging databases because it's all very well to test something on a staging environment, but if you're not mirroring the, the live database, then you don't have the exact same data to test a new plugin on, for example. So, I mean, I understand why you haven't solved that problem yet because it's a pretty big problem to solve, isn't it? It is a big problem, and the, the other problem is it manifests itself in so many different ways with different developers mm. that to us, we might imagine it to be one solution for us, but every developer has their own workflow. Mm. And mm. because their workflow is different, uh, you can't be like, okay, do it this way. You have, to, you have to meld yourself and you have to mold yourself based on the developer's workflow. And that's where it becomes really, really challenging that every developer has a different expectation around merge. Mm. Do you, um, is it just WordPress websites that Blog Vault works on? Oh, yes. Yeah. So we are doubling down on WordPress. Like WordPress works. WordPress is for self-hosted CMS. WordPress is 75% of the market. Like you go to any mm. web host who, mm. does, who do multiple uh, applications, and they'll tell you that 75% of all applications is WordPress. So we are doubling down on WordPress. We are doing more and more things with WordPress and WordPress only. Do you get nervous? Uh, and the reason I ask this is because there's been lots of acquisitions in the last couple of years around large WordPress companies buying other WordPress-based companies to basically um, fold in the technology into their service offering. Do you get nervous that you're going to wake up one day and one of the big hosting companies has basically replicated exactly what you've built at BlogVault? Is that something that you worry about at all? Uh, not really. So uh, what... Actually, the WordPress market is very large, and we are up against very big competitors already. Mm. So the competitors we are up against is GoDaddy, Jetpack, so Automatic, and we have com uh, pr products with millions of installs. So we are, we are not really looking at it from that perspective. I think it comes really comes down to building great technology for the, uh, for the, uh, for your customers, and I think that te great technology is very important. I don't know if you know of this, but uh, uh, WP Engine, Flywheel, all the major web hosts are our customers. Hmm. So have you ever used any of the automated migration plugins for any of the web hosts? Uh, Flywheel I have, yes. So that's powered by BlockVault. Got it. So Flywheel is a big customer of ours, and we do their automated migration plugin. Got so, it. And the reason these, these web hosts are... Oh, very, very technical, and they and they have great engineering. But even they realize that uh, doing backups well, and migrations is nothing but backups plus restore. Doing backups well and doing restores well takes in, like, uh, there's a huge amount of energy and effort that goes into it. And our technology is, like, gives them that assurance that it will be done well. So is that a, is that a white labeled version that you sell through the hosts that they have an interface that the customer interfaces with, but it's actually the blog vault te technology in the back end, or are they just transparent about the fact that this is blog vault, we're using blog vault to, 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 to do this for you? Yeah, it's all co-branded with blog vault. So you will see blog vault branding very, very prominent. And actually that's cool. one of the big customer channels for us where uh, every customer who onboards to these platforms they see our branding loud and clear, and that's where, that's how they realize that okay, there's this thing called Blog Vault. Mm. Uh, what is the why is why has the WP Engine taken Blog Vault? So that if WP Engine has opted for Blog Vault, then the, the technology must be good. Mm. 
Automatic have have um, uh, have is it Vault Press? Is that is that their thing that yeah. they yeah Vault Press? Um, what's the and and again without getting into you know too much of uh, beating up the competition? Um, <laughs> what's the uh, what's the value? Why would I use Blog Vault instead of Vault Press? Ah, uh, okay, so. And I don't want to be, I think Vault, if you're not using Blog Vault, I would recommend you to use WordPress mm -hmm. because I think they do a lot of things right. Mm. But uh, even then, and I think the best, and I will not say this, so do you know of WP Sitecare, mm -hmm. who is a very, very big uh, WordPress maintenance agency? Mm -hmm. Recently, they published a blog post with, uh, where they said that they are using Blog Vault for five, like 500 plus sites, mm -hmm. so, right? And why are they doing so? And they said that, they were using WordPress, and the restores just would not work as that often. Mm. And that's what that's what that's what has taken us seven years. We are not we are like I think we are fairly smart people. So mm. getting it right, getting making sure that every time your restore works, you know, for the longest time, every time a restore failed, I would get a mail personally. Mm. And even today, I get whenever a restore fails, I don't pay attention to it because it happens very very rarely. Mm. And there are other people looking into it, mm. but that's how uh, that's how much prominence we give to the quality of backups and restores. Mm. That and that's what separates us because they are not. WordPress has million things to do. Like mm. WordPress is basically Jetpack, and they have a million things to do. They are not maniacal about these problems. Mm. We are like we live and breathe. For us, if that stops working, I'm not going. The team is not going to get paid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so th that's the difference. Uh, nice segue. You, you, how big is your team now? I saw on LinkedIn it's about 22, 24. Is that right? We are, uh, we are 18 people right now. 18. How do you keep 18 people moving in the same direction, focused on the same results and the same goals and, and moving together as a team over that, over that seven-year period? Obviously, the team has grown, but how do you keep that many people moving in the same direction, focused on the same thing? I think I've been very, very lucky to have find the right people who are so motivated in solving these problems because they're not easy problems to solve. So the one thing that really helps is uh, customer feedback loop is so f close, like every every team member is involved in uh, customer support. They see that whatever they build is used by customers and they get that, that feedback loop complete, complete. The second thing is we are looking at solving tough problems. So while we are talking about blog vault, this is actually the biggest, most of our growth is coming from my second product today, which is Malcare, our security product. Mm -hmm. And that was an extremely difficult problem to solve. It took over three years of just R&D before we got it out of the door. Wow. <laughs> so th three and that's years what, uh, of R&D. There you go, folks. I couldn't focus on anything for three weeks, let alone three years. Three years of R&D. Wow, that's, uh, that's impressive. And so we are also... It took us three years of r and to get Malcare out of the door. We are investing similar energies into the next block WordPress thing, and you will see some of those come out also. So that's what keeps the team motivated because we are not sitting stagnant. Mm. We are trying to push the boundaries and solve tough problems. So mm. on the surface, a lot of these things look very similar, but once you dig, dig deep inside, you'll realize that, okay, yeah, this is what these guys have done. They have thought about this use case or they have tried to make this super simple. Like with malware with security, finding the malware is a non-trivial task. Mm. Frankly, I think we have, yeah, the three years was really well spent because we have solved a very, very difficult problem. Uh, what is your growth strategy now? Is it to go through the hosts or is it to go to large agencies or is it to go directly to the website owner and the, and the WordPress user? So you know, I wished I had like full clarity on <laughs> on this. We uh, we have like we are unfortunately targeting all three mm -hmm. because we see significant customers in all three segments. Yeah, we have customers as individual site owners and small businesses. We have agencies and developers using us, and that's a very very promising market. Mm. And we have web hosts who also sign up and use our service for all their clients. Mm. So. We have all these three. Unfortunately, because of the team size, we can't focus on all of them. Agencies continue to be, I think agencies are very, very important to us because they tend to be our best users. They tend to talk about Blog Vault a lot more and they pay us a lot more money too. Of course, because, uh, because they're, they have yeah. more sites. Yeah, that's right. 
Um, and is there a, and again, I don't know uh, because I haven't done the research, but is there a reseller plan or how, how do agencies position it? How do they put it in front of their customers? So agencies position it typically as the, uh, like they, uh, at their scale, like suppose you have 100 sites, mm. you can get backups and security for $200 per month. Or if you just want backups, it's $100 per month. And that includes staging, white labeling, plugin management theme, and so the entire reporting, mm. all of that is part of it. So the pricing is very, very uh, agency friendly. Mm. So at scale, you can sell it to all your, cl uh, to all your clients. And for whom, uh, I think, it, um, I, we are big fans of WP Elevation and the work you guys are doing. And like with the maintenance playing such a big role mm. in an agency's life today, mm. for us, our goal is to enable them and be that tool which enables them to sell even higher quality maintenance packages. Mm. Does this, does Blog Vault replace something like Manage WP? Oh, yes. So that's one of the, uh, that's one of the things we have been focusing on. We are doing more and more of those things which uh, allow us to replace Manage WP and g give more value to uh, to the manage, uh, the customers of Manage WP. And yeah, I think Manage WP is a big competitor for us. Mm. Interesting. Uh, where can people reach out and learn more about Blog Vault and more about you and uh, as an entrepreneur and your journey? Okay, so to, to know more about me, I think it's going to be fairly difficult because I, I tend to stay under the radar. Uh, not <laughs> not by anymore. Design, it's <laughs> not by design, but it's the kind of person I am. Yeah, uh, sure. But you, you can ping me on, uh, on Twitter at Akshatsi, though, like I said, I'm, more, I'm mostly building product and not very much out there. Yeah. Uh, Blog Vault, obviously, you can get to our website, HTTPS blogvault.net. Mm -hmm. And you'll find all the information there. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, and feel free to reach out. Like we are mo more than happy. I love talking to people. While while I'm not very social media friendly, I love meeting people at WordCamps and uh, and otherwise also. So uh, and most happy to help people out. Blogvault.net is the URL. Um, how do, I'm curious. How did you come across our podcast? How did you? How did you? How did this connection happen? So. <laughs> Your podcast is uh, like WP Elevation is very very big in WordPress space, and if you, uh, and uh, I've heard quite a few of your podcasts. But the uh, the I, uh, the most recent person who pinged me was a very good friend of mine, mine Ivisha, uh, who is very very active in the WordPress community, hmm. and he he shared uh, his podcast, and I think he briefly mentioned about us in that podcast too. Awesome. Oh, I'm glad to I'm glad to hear it, and I'm glad we did finally connect, and I'm glad you uh, we had this opportunity to speak. Blogvault.net is the URL. Go check it out. I'm certainly going to jump off this call right now and go check it out because I have a bunch of personal sites that I run for my friends and my family and my partner and and uh, and, and my own little hobby sites as well. And so I'm always looking at at uh, exploring the technology out there. And I think it's important for us to be ahead of the curve and, and up to speed with what's happening as well. So I'm definitely going to check out Blogvault.net and Akshat C on Twitter. Is that your Twitter handle? Is that Right. Yeah, that's Akshat C, uh, A K S H A T C. At uh, yeah, that's perfect. That's, All right, we'll we'll keep me. we'll keep in touch on Twitter as well. When's the next WordCamp that you're heading off to? So I'm heading off to US at the end of uh, August. So we have WordCamp Las Vegas, Post uh, Pressnomics, and WordCamp New York. So those are the three we are doing cool. awesome. in the next. Have, so, have you been Have you been to Pressnomics before? Oh yeah, it's my favorite conference. Yeah, so, it's good. Uh, it's like like-minded WordPress people yeah. there, and just it's it's an excuse to just hang out with friends, and yeah. the company pays for it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I have major FOMO. I've done three international trips this year, so I can't make it to Pressnomics, unfortunately. So because I live in Australia, which is literally about as far away as you can get uh, from the US, so unfortunately I can't yeah. make it out there. So I have FOMO. Have a great time for me, and uh, say hi to everyone for us out there. Yeah, next time you are uh, you are uh, traveling to a WordCamp, do hit me up. Would love to meet you. Absolutely, uh, uh, will do. All right, thanks, Akshad. Thanks you for your time. I really appreciate you spending some time with us on the podcast, and I look forward to keeping in touch. Uh, thank you for having me. I thoroughly enjoyed this, and uh, yeah, uh, look, let's let's keep in touch.
Awesome. All right, folks, there's another episode of the WP Elevation podcast. Check it out. Blogvault.net is where you check out all the details uh, about Akshat's company and what they're doing there in the backup space. WPElevation.com slash iTunes is where you can go and leave us a rating and a review and subscribe to the podcast. And also check us out on Facebook and YouTube. I hope the new set is working. I hope the audio sounds as good as the other episodes. Please leave us some, leave us some feedback. We do read all of the reviews. And uh, feel free to reach out and let us know if there's anyone that you would like us to interview on the podcast. Until next time, I'll talk to you very soon. Until then, I'm Troy Dean. Go Elevate.